Senator Hoven. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, we need to support Israel. There's no question about it. They're fighting for their very existence. We see that. We need to clearly. We need to help them and support them, not just in this package, but but beyond that. I believe we also need to support Ukraine. When you look at history, we understand very clearly that tyrants like Putin don't stop. They have to be stopped. So we need to do those things, but we also need to secure the homeland. Uh, and that means securing our border. And there's uh, about 14 billion, 13.6 billion in this package requested relative to the uh, border and immigration. Um, Secretary Blinken, last month, 270,000 illegal encounters, uh, people trying to cross illegally at the southern border. That's a record. Two and a half million last year. And uh, 169 uh, individuals trying to cross uh, that are on the terrorist watch list. Border security is national security. And I'm trying to understand how $14 billion to house, transport, and provide other services to individuals coming here illegally won't just encourage more to come. So my question to you is how is it that you're going to assure us here today, and we'll ask Secretary Mayorkas in a week, that you're going to secure the southern border? Because I think for a lot of folks, when we're talking about national security, they want to see how that's going to happen. And, there, and we're going to want to be assured of that. How are you going to assure us that this is going to actually happen, that it's not $14 billion for more people to come here illegally? Thank you, Senator. Uh, first, I think it's important uh, to put this uh, in very brief perspective, which is we are facing um, a migration challenge around the world of historic proportions. We've got more people on the move, displaced from their homes around the world than ever before, ever since we've been actually keeping the numbers on this. Uh, more than 100 million people in our own hemisphere. Uh, it's somewhere between 20 and 25 million people. And it used to be that we would have one crisis at a time. It might be Cuba, it might be Haiti. Uh, now we've got Cuba, Haiti, Venezuela, uh, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Ecuador, uh, Colombia, uh, and so on down the list, Nicaragua. And then people coming to our hemisphere from outside the hemisphere trying to get into the United States. Uh, my piece of this, our piece of this at the State Department is the work that we're doing with countries throughout our hemisphere for them to step up and take shared responsibility for this problem. And that means, among many other things, making sure that they themselves have asylum systems that work so that people with will stay. With all due respect, Secretary, we understand that. How are you going to assure us that you are going to stop the flow of illegal uh, crossings at our southern border? We are will you give us that assurance and will you quantify it? We are working comprehensively. Without just talking about the problem, will you give us the assurance and will you quantify it? Uh, I would uh, certainly defer to my colleagues at, uh, at DHS uh, and, and others who are working on the border itself. The piece that I'm focused on is working with other is countries in the region. Is it your opinion we should enforce third Reduce safe countries? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry go, sir. Ahead. go ahead, sir. Yeah, my time's limited here. Uh, should we enforce third safe country and remain in Mexico protocols? We should uh, work with uh, other countries and enforce every uh, reasonable measure to make sure that the Migratory flow is safe, orderly, and humane. That's what we're working on. Uh, Secretary Austin, uh, we've had more than 25 attacks in the Middle East on our troops just uh, since uh, October 7th. Why are we not striking back more forcefully? Why are we not delivering a resounding message to stop those strikes uh, on our bases and on our troops? Uh, thanks, Senator. As I said, uh, the protection of our troops, the safety of our troops is very, very important to me and the President. And we re uh, maintain the right to, uh, to respond uh, at a place and time of our choosing. And, uh, and we've said that, and we're serious about that. So we're to understand that we will strike back sufficiently forcefully to stop these attacks. We will do what's necessary to protect our, our troops and uh, deter this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, behavior. One follow-up question. Uh, Senator Moran asked about a strategy with Ukraine that brings this war to a successful conclusion. What is that strategy? Well, from our standpoint, we want to make sure that uh, Ukraine, uh, at the end of the day, is a democratic, uh, independent um, sovereign country 
that can defend its, its, uh, its territory and deter aggression. We also want to make sure that, uh, that we keep NATO together. And I think the team has done a credible job in making sure that we bring our allies and partners along. Um, in terms of specific goals and objectives, uh, you know, I would defer to the Ukrainian leadership to define that. Uh, but, but again, our, our goal is to make sure that we're providing the, the support to Ukraine to do what it needs to defend its territory. Thank you. We need to know that we have a strategy as part of this funding. I think it's very important in terms of building support for the funding for Ukraine. Th thank you to you both. I appreciate it.